Should we sally forth and continue to find out what happened? <sighs> you gotta go to the idea being something. Maybe ask you something. What did I just want? An actual environment. The answer? <laughs> As a sample of direct versus indirect measures, I'd like you to just watch this video. So what are they looking for? What are we looking for? Yeah. The people? Yeah. How? How, oh, the people? how are we trying to measure? Oh, the people in there? Yeah. Oh, in the tunnel or the people we're watching the video? about the lights. The lights. Oh. Um, well, there's lights in here, right? You might be able to see them kind of flashing around. Um, so we got people in the tunnel. How many people are in the tunnel, Brad? Can't tell by the light. Why not? Well, here comes what looks like three, four that aren't, don't have lights on. They don't have lights on? No. So you're telling me that the lights didn't represent the number of people? No. Oh, no. Oh, hurt. So the lights are a direct or indirect measure? It would be indirect. Weird, huh? Yeah. Because they're actually on people. Yeah. So it's kind of a, it's a direct measure of the number of lights turned on, yeah, but, but not a direct on. measure of the number of people in the tunnel. That's a trap. Yeah. Oh, not at all. No, this is great. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you're helping you're students true. learn. You, you, you did, did exactly. Yeah. All right, there we go. Did. So, a direct... awards will be at the front gate. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, direct center. Now we got a couple more, but we don't know how many people are really back there. Again, you're all the way back to that question. Yeah. yeah. So the lights can indicate there's a person. It might not be a person, it could be a dog. Could be a dog, could be the light just taking from the ceiling. Yeah. Swinging back and forth. Don't really know. Ah, it's getting bright. So anyway, direct versus indirect. Um, sometimes things that feel direct might be indirect. There's a good example. So be cautious with what you measure and what you interpret from what you measure. What would give that away? You think in like an OBM setting? <laughs> Secondary <laughs> assessment. Another assessment of something. Like if you're wondering how much, how many people are in there, we, we could walk in and go find out. I mean, in the Jeep video, y'all have seen the Jeep video by now. It, when we walked in, we stuck our hands in there to find out what the real problem was. It was the mud, right? Yeah. So sometimes we have to get in there and get the data. Like you might actually go observe. You might actually have to work with people. Oh my gosh. Weird. You might have to find the people that you work with we and find out what people. problems they actually have. Hi, I'm Dr. Singh. Are you an MRT? Have you been one for a while? Are you experiencing an AO? Have your MOs and SDs for studying gotten mildly confusing? Are you on a mixed schedule? Have you run into a generalization gradient, flat out fell off of it, and can't find your NKAs anymore? Join us for a cram session. We'll put your chains back together.